This rototiller right here belongs to Friesen Rentals and Hardware in Cedar, British Columbia, Canada. There's an issue with this thing. Could be a warranty issue. We're going to find out if it is or not. Uh, a lot of rental companies out there love these things. They're supposed to be one of the uh, heaviest, dutiest, uh, mid-time tillers out there. That's why a lot of rental companies like these. Unfortunately, Friesen's has only ever rented this thing out two or three times, and there's already an issue with this. I'm going to show you what that is right now. Right here, there's a belt that the engine turns the belt going over to this big pulley right here. In turn, that pulley drives some chains down in the transmission, the gear case, or the chain case, whatever some of you guys want to call it, that in turn pulls and turns those tines. Watch what happens right now. That should be crawling across my bench right now when I do that. See how it's trying to tug a little bit? It's trying to tug a little bit there. So what that tells me right there is that I know that uh, one of the chains isn't broken, otherwise it wouldn't even be trying to do that. My guess is that uh, if memory serves me correctly on this model, it's been a long time since I had one apart. I think there's two chains in this one. I think there's a chain that goes, a, a short chain that goes from uh, this gear here down to a gear that's in the middle of the of the transmission and then there's another short chain that goes down to the to the tines my guess is that there's a brass gear at the bottom of these tines that that's probably stripped we're going to find out right now if that's actually true or not i'm going to drain the oil out of that thing i'm going to take the tines off i'm going to take the transmission right out and so the next thing you're about to see is going to be just the transmission laying here just before I'm ready to split apart so we can see what the actual issue is in there. I'm using Stanwix Premium Red Ale right now from Ireland. Let's get this done. There she is guys, there's the transmission, the gearbox, the chain case, whatever you guys are going to call it. Welcome back to Steve Small Landing Saloon. There's my website right there if you're interested, stevesmalllandingsaloon.com. Check it out when you get a chance. Look what I had to do to get this gearbox out of here. I had to disintegrate that entire rototiller down to nothing just to get this transmission out of here. I saved the last two bolts because I want to do this with you guys at the same time and open this up so we can all see this together. See if I was right or not. Last two bolts, all of it's done and as you can see, look at that, that's that big pulley I was turning. It's not moving this at all anymore. I don't know what I did there by just taking that off, but it's not moving at all. So let's split this thing apart. There's a cork gasket in between here. I, I believe from memory, it's a cork gasket. So we've got to pry this thing apart. This may take a bit. I might edit this a little bit if this takes too long. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Excellent. Now there's a lot of metallic. If you can see that on that inside cover, that oil that's left in there after I drained it, a lot of metallic color in there. That's not good. All right. So I was right. There is two chains. And I was absolutely wrong about the brass gear down here it's not actually a brass gear it's a steel gear which is actually good i actually really like that so what's wrong here what's wrong there it is right there it's actually the top bearing or the top gear that's stripped look at that that's the one that's 
strip right where that big black pulley was. So now we know actually what's going on in there and what's what the problem is. The chains are good. This gear is good. This gear is good. It's the gear that goes on the shaft right where that big black pulley was that you saw me turn in there earlier. That's the gear that's gone. So unfortunately now we have to order some parts and uh, obviously we're going to order that gear that's stripped right there and a new cork gasket probably a couple oil seals for the bottom of the tines here to make sure those aren't leaking when we put it back together and uh, we're going to do a follow-up video on this when the parts come in we're going to put this all back together and until then guys put some comments down underneath this video tell me what you think subscribe to my channel give me that thumbs up button guys I'm just trying to help you guys out and share this with your friends. Until then, might be a long wait. You might want to go have another beer. Stenwicks. Steve out.